WFNN. Headline News Update. Good afternoon, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of sunny Delray Beach, Florida, with your 2 p.m. update. And currently, we have all the U.S. indices trading to the downside. The Dow's down 279 points, eight tenths of a percent, seven tenths for the S&P, or 32 points. Nasdaq one and a quarter percent, 187 points. Russell's down 15 or seven tenths. Semis up one and six tenths percent. That's 56 points to the downside. Gold is trading up 15 bucks. Silver 18 pennies. Lights recruit up a buck 77. She's printing at 93.84. Let's uh, spend some time and take a look at our indice charts out here. So we'll begin. Give me a moment here. We're going to change screens. The white screens will pop up here momentarily. Into the upper left-hand corner, you've got the Dow. Now, the Dow is trading below its red oscillator and change line. So what does that mean? Well, that suggests lower price if we close below that red oscillator and change line tells us we have a falling price oscillator below zero. If you're going to ask me where is price likely going to head, I would say it would be another retest of the high of January 24th. Although it's not shown there, that is printing out. Well, I can tell you, I can tell you what that number is for the Dow Cash Indice. That is a moment here. That high would be 34,420. So that's likely what it's signaling to you and I. If you take a look at the S&P Cash, it's trading just below its red oscillator and change line. Uh, if it does close below that, uh, that is 44.50. I would say that signals another test of the uh, January 24th high, 44.17. The NASDAQ 100 is testing and so far has rejected that red oscillator and change line. So giving us a different message than the S&P and the Dow out here. So as long as that level holds, you could see a further counter trend rally. That further counter trend rally would take us up in the 15200 level. The Russell 2000, well above its oscillator and change line out here. It's trying to wait for the Dow, S&P and NASDAQ to decide to join it to move to higher price. Its higher price that it would like would be 2210. The semis, they are trading above their oscillator and change line. Really a nice move yesterday above that level. That suggests to move back to its recent highs or the 3840 level. The transport's out here, kind of a neutral signal. The spot volatility is still above its 50-day exponents moving average, which is 2295. You're trading at 2593. So that's always dangerous for the markets. It's mostly dangerous for the S&P 500. And you've got uh, the XAU, bar number seven of a TD9 count, should continue higher. That XAU wants to target its breakdown level. That breakdown level is about 144.53. Folks, stay tuned for your favorite polar bear, David White with the Power Trading Hour. Have a wonderful Wednesday, and we'll look forward to seeing you tomorrow on Terrific Thursday.